three services of the Indian Armed Forces operate the world's fastest BrahMos supersonic cruise missile. But why is the Indian Armed Forces also developing a slower cruise missile instead? India is nearing completion of the induction of its latest cruise missile, Nirve. While it may not match the speed of BrahMos, there are compelling reasons behind its development. In fact, certain aspects of Nirve's capabilities are on par with, and in some cases, even surpass those of some of the most advanced cruise missiles in the world. Similar to the Tomahawk cruise missile, Nirbai is categorized as a subsonic cruise missile, meaning it travels at speeds below the sound barrier, typically around 550 miles per hour. The solid rocket booster is used in Nirve for the initial stage of the missile's flight. It provides the necessary thrust and acceleration to lift the missile off the ground and propel it to the required altitude and velocity before the main engine takes over. The turbofan engine used in Nirve serves as the main propulsion system after the initial stage. It's not the same type of engine used in most jet fighters, which generally use afterburning turbofan engines for high speed and high altitude flight. Turbofan engines are more fuel efficient at subsonic speeds, which is the typical cruising speed of cruise missiles like Nirve. They are designed to provide a good balance between thrust and fuel consumption. They provide continuous thrust produce less noise and heat compared to afterburning engines, and most importantly, they are well suited for long-range flight, which helped Nirve reach a range of more than 1,500 kilometers. Although the turbofan engine in Nirve is not locally made, India has already developed a smart turbofan engine called the Monik engine for its indigenous technology cruise missile, which is based on the Nirve missile. The missile is guided by a microelectromechanical system based inertial navigation system developed by India. MEMS technology involves creating tiny mechanical and electromechanical elements like accelerometers and gyroscopes on a microscale using semiconductor manufacturing techniques. While MEMS-based accelerometers can sense changes in velocity, allowing the system to calculate changes in position over time, and MEMS gyroscopes help track changes in orientation or heading. The calculated information is then used for navigation purposes in a missile, it helps maintain a desired flight path. MEMS-based inertial navigation systems are favored for their compact size, low energy use, and affordability. They find extensive use in applications such as missiles, drones, self-driving vehicles, and everyday devices like smartphones for tasks like GPS navigation and motion tracking. The radio altimeter in the Nervhe cruise missile plays a vital role in maintaining its altitude above ground. This device is essential for the guidance system to make real-time adjustments, ensuring it stays on the intended flight path at the right height. The system works by emitting radio waves towards the ground and measuring the time it takes for the signal to bounce back. Since radio waves travel at the speed of light, the time it takes for the signal to return is directly proportional to the distance between the altimeter and the ground. Using the measured time, the altimeter calculates the altitude above the ground. This information is then relayed to the missile's guidance system. The Nervhe cruise missile is capable of flying at altitudes as low as 5 meters. This capability allows the missile to evade enemy radar detection, making it extremely difficult to intercept or track. When approaching a target at such a low altitude, it reduces the reaction time for defense systems, providing a higher chance of successful penetration. By using this technology, the missile achieves precision and accuracy in hitting its target.
However, one of Nirbaya's standout features is its ability to loiter before striking its target, a capability shared by very few cruise missiles worldwide. This loitering function is akin to that of a UAV, allowing it to linger in a designated area for a period before engaging its target. The inclusion of a loitering capability significantly enhances the missile's capabilities. It enables enhanced target discrimination, reducing the risk of collateral damage by allowing for a thorough assessment of the surrounding environment. Moreover, the missile gains the ability to wait for optimal conditions, increasing the likelihood of a successful strike. This feature also provides the flexibility to adapt mid-mission, shifting focus if a higher priority target emerges or if the initial target's significance changes.